Stephen King, J.K. Rowling, Stephanie Myers, Rick Royerden. Who are these people? And what do they do for a living? They're all writers, fictional writers. They're what make our imagination. Okay, I don't know where I'm going with all with this opening. This is how to write a fictional novel. to tell you today about fictional novels. Now you're probably like, duh, what is a fictional novel? Well, a fictional novel is something that isn't real. For example, Harry Potter, Twilight, or even 39 Clues. All are not real, but have been created in someone's imagination to make you think they're real. Do you understand? Characters. Now, some things you will need in a fictional story or novel, whatever you want to call it, is characters. A character can be a person, an animal, an entity, you name it, it can be a character, as long as it's alive or has some sort of function in the story. Another thing to put with characters is emotion. For example, happy, sad, anger, or stupid. I don't think stupid is an emotion, but an example of something emotional could be Dumbledore's death in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. How about a cut of <laughs> I cried at that, I tell you. Plot. The plot, or storyline, is the main line of event you will follow in the story. Most times you will plan the plot and characters before you actually write the story. Unless you just wing it like I do when I write. Setting. This is pretty straightforward. The setting can be, is a specific date or when basically if you want to say, it is when the book takes place. For example, you could have a specific date. Like, I don't know, December 21st, 2012. End of the world. You can make a story on that. Or something as, ex or something as specific as in a simple date. For example, February 1956. You could even make a story in the year November 3,475 and a half. I don't know. You, 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 can make, you can put any date you want. You could have like February 30th if you wanted to. You, anything you want. As long as you have an idea of what it'll be like in that time period, you can create your own fictional reality. It's pretty straightforward. Theme. The theme is pretty straightforward as well. It is um, what uh, your, the story is trying to get out. For example, uh, in 2012, or any type of 2012 apocalyptic, uh, apocalyptic story would be, um, no matter what happens and no matter how much pain you're in, you always got to be strong and go. I guess that's what 2012 is trying to say, because it doesn't even matter. You understand what I mean. Basically, it is um, the moral of the story. Like, it's pretty straightforward. I hope I have convinced you to try and start writing. <laughs> if not, you can play a nice go game of hide and go f*** yourself. I'm just kidding. I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>